arrived the presidential villa at about 1.20 p.m. inspected the guard of honor mounted by men of guard brigades. The guard brigade also honored the visiting king with 21-gun salute. Shortly after the inspection of the guard of honor, President Muhammad Buhari and King Mohammed met behind closed doors before leaving the presidential villa for national marks to perform the two rakat of Jumaat prayer. King Mohammed, who is leading a 300-man delegation, is in Nigeria for the first time since he ascended the throne in July 23, 1999. The meeting between President Muhammad Buhari and King Mohammed, which continues after Jumaat prayer, focus on bilateral trade and economic relations. Speaking with journalists in an interview, Minister of Foreign Affairs Godfrey Onyema said about 15 bilateral agreements is going to be signed between the two countries, most especially in gas and oil sectors. We are going to sign probably about 15 agreements, uh, economic agreements, covering so many different fields. Um, where, um, you know, Morocco is a big producer of phosphates. And, um, and so we're looking at um, in having a, a plant here in Nigeria and uh, with their supply of phosphate uh, and our, you know, production of, you know, urea and gas to um, produce fertilizers and maybe even to uh, produce and export fertilizers within the West African sub-region. This visit, the diplomatic role between Nigeria and the Kingdom of Morocco, which erupted decades ago, is going to be put to rest. Now the Nigerian president and the Moroccan king and inside this building that housed the presidential office to discuss about the bilateral. Would this bilateral old discussion bring ends to 1975 between the two countries when Nigeria decided to support uh, Western Sahara for its independence? From State House Abuja, I am Hassan Umar Farouk for Liberty News.